Hello, I'm DaysG2. Welcome back. We're going to continue to play the Beginner's Guide. We're on Chapter 7, which is apparently titled Down. I didn't know there was chapters in this game. They don't exactly tell you right off the bat. But anyway, continuing. Uh, and maybe explore a little bit more. Again, with the exact same solution as the last time. What? Open a door and then quickly run in after you pull the lever again? Yep, it's the exact same puzzle. There's still no clear <laughs> indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Oh, I'm sure. And he, maybe he'll show his interpretation very soon? Not just yours? Hopefully in words. Because I suck at decoding oh, what people want me to experience. Okay. What's in here? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, is this the human Navis? Or Novis? Navis? I can't jump, I forget. Did you come from Here, a Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the buttons on your gamepad to respond. Hmm. Yes, there was a world stomped with whiteness. Yes, there was an enormous prison I spent hours in. Yes, there was these floating covered colored blocks. Mm, I, wa I remembered the prison. Let's do that. That's the world above. You've been there. Now, this is important. Did you have to go through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming in here. No, I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. I prefer not to tell you. After all, we have just met. Let's be friendly about this. Yes, I did. Again, perfect. Now, please, let us tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. I, I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I didn't solve it. Someone else let me in. Trust me, you don't want to go in. You don't want to go over there. Mm, uh, how do I respond to this? Ah, uh, I'll just I'll choose B. Oh no, but I do. We do. We need to get out there. Do you understand? It's the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there's nothing I want more. Aha. Uh -huh. Well... Is that it? Well, so much for that cutscene. Alright, let's go. Let's further in. Is there another group of people I need to talk to? Yes, there is! Hello, how did you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? Well, not this time. Um... Mm, yes! Do you want to know how I solved it? No, no, we actually find the black space between the doors to be far more interesting. Have you seen it? Why would I care about the space between the doors? Actually, now that you mention it, I remember feeling strange as I passed through it. I, or, I don't recall a space between the doors. There was a space between the doors? And then quickly run in after you pull the lever again? Yep, it's the exact same puzzle. Eh. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you'll visit again soon. Be sure to pay close attention. Uh-huh. Black space between the doors. Well, uh, all I see, we're going deeper. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. Yes, going deeper into the core of whatever is going on. I'm imagining someone's brain. This looks like a fitness room. Oh, no, it's the outside. Are we in college town? Or a college town? Okay, yes. I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Hmm. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, 
you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no in a way. purpose. And maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. It's Bloodborne's destination! <laughs> it's a hub point! It's a checkpoint! It's a safe point. Safe. <laughs> and as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Yes, as bright and clear as this light post that's eliminating light. Where is it going? Where are, where are we going? Okay. It's dark. We're creeping towards April 2009. This game is connected to the internet. Oh, well, good. As you walk around, you can leave notes. Okay, all notes you see are left by other players. All right. Ooh, there's a note. Oh, hello. Nice room. Not. <laughs> so first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, huh? but this game, this game is not connected to the internet. No. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. Yep. This was actually <laughs> the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. Oh, oh holy shit. <laughs> It oh, really? Holy so shit. Different from anything that anyone else was doing. <laughs> so right away I was like, I have to be friends uh, with this person. Can you guys hear me? No, I cannot. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit... Uh, hello. ...trying to get his attention. Uh, uh, well, there's... Over enthusiastic. Reasonable. But he was very gracious about it and very uh, patient with Everyone, it. read this. And I cooled off a bit. Hey. This place makes me sad. Feel free to sad. skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. I want to Either tell way, you a secret. Once upon a time, I did to I find fun. Who's filled with I'm king of the world. And feelings and beliefs, and has no way to express them, except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. As I can see, balls. <laughs> but it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, the guy over there wrote get to much wrong. And actually, kind of connect. I'd rather be doing literally be anything other than playing this. Really seductive to me. That I could just. Hey, I could type here. And see the voices. Why? And get to know them. There are too many messages in this area. Messy in person. We're running out of space soon. I could just get to know you through your work. Will we will suffocate? I think cool, this is why Kevin I always bro. liked Coda's games so much. Is because a world full like of notes, one man will read all of them this summer. You will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. Into his world. <laughs> okay, I gotta do it in the movie voice. In a world full of notes, one man will read all of them this summer. You will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. They all talk like this! <laughs> do you feel like a hero yet? This game is so nice, I would like it when I could. Do not be afraid. Do care. I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I've ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see... I never want to see again if nothing ever be be that beautiful again. I'm crying my, and planning on ripping my eyes out. I must go now and do that. This summer, he will become known as the blind man who has a feministic voice to his prowess. <laughs> and apparently uh, he has a problem with language uh, from time to time. How is there wood and grass and concrete here? What the f Freak. <laughs> What the shit is this cavern? And also, I lend my voice to it. <laughs> okay. But wait, was that. Oh, okay, I thought it said Borig. <laughs> uh, I can assure you, guarantee that there is an acorn somewhere here in this place in the sale I've been looking for. It. You know what? I should probably should just keep going this summer. <laughs> All the shit has to go in my mouth. 
So, oh, look at that. Fresh painting. New room. Ah, yeah, I can see. Oh, God, there's so many notes. This summer, can you read them all? Scatter prom Scattermon. <laughs> uh, maybe this is a game where the game developer wanted to reinvent a social networking game. Um, and then uh, once in a while have an artistic idea displayed like this. With, you know, different colors of bubbles and everything else. And then you got all these speech bubbles. Monologue. Um, oh my god, how many is there? And they lead out of this room! It's probably more fucking rooms with bubbles. You know, no, I, I'm not. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. This is gonna take forever. Um, and maybe read them along the way. There must be a reason to this. Uh, this is terrible something. Uh, I, I have no idea what that said. Uh, more room. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. <laughs> Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Oh, that makes sense. Downward, keep In digging. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Help. This doesn't make sense. The second door won't open. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here, to step back and connect the pieces together. Uh-huh. Grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Uh-huh. No solution. <laughs> yes, there must this there might be no solution to this. Would the whispering stop? What the fuck is that? How do you leave the notes? <laughs> Are these a bunch of typewriters? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay. Are you there? Please say something. It could be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so difficulty talking? Speak, 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 speak. Okay. Porn stars die too. What? Spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Uh, I see a well. It looks like the same exact well from the ring, so I'm just gonna, you know, go the other way. Um, well, those are cool design buildings. Uh, closet? Nope. More exiting my room, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or a room. Well, I can't say it's my room, it's a room. Uh, I like the music, though. Nice club music. Oh, it's soft in the background, but I can barely hear it. And it's gonna energize me until the there's nothing. Uh, is this like a ladder? This is it. The whole game. What? And there's nothing that's particularly interesting. Oh, I'm in the well. Okay. The oh, whoa. Except for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. You mean a well? And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay. Cool. Oh. Here's version two. Whoa. Oh, there's the same well. What furniture ought to go in the center of this room? Uh, how about a TV with surround sound? That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I really like a washing machine. Ten stoves lined up against the wall. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, how about it stoves? Whoa. Okay. I think we should light up the room with skylight. Full ceiling window. Let's, you know. Send my electric. It says coils. No, let's do the <laughs> the electric six inch. What? Oh, it's going in order. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> tables were invented in 1935. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. There's a bit huh? more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> and there's this trail again with mazes. So, oh. Okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time, he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. <laughs> Hello, please walk forward. Okay, well, let's do it. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Okay. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care of the remember what each. Remember each step. Well, crap. <laughs> I won't remember any step that I took. First, click on this table. Okay. Well, click. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click it and to turn it slightly. Now turn to the floor lamp in this room off. Then turn it back on. Are you talking about this thing? Now go to the left side sofa. Move it a little over. Sofa. Just move it a little lower. Okay. And finally, touch the shelves. That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Alright. I'll go forward. Forward into my prison. Which I imagine is right here. Return. There we go. <laughs> Still like the music, though. And of course, uh, oh. now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. That's... Well, shit. <laughs> Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version yeah. where the inside of the prison oh. is the outside, and the outside is the what? inside. <laughs> what? I'll you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he Whoa. really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen. Personally, I think it's awful to watch. Oh. To see Jesus, <laughs> it keeps switching. through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other oh, than this prison that I could... <laughs> it's upside down. But Everything's upside down. That voice telling you to stop. That particular oh. mechanism of difference. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Uh, okay, I guess I can't move that way. And so he keeps going and uh, going and going and going and going. Down this hole! Uh, all right, never mind. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Hmm. Yes, because it is a black hole going... Oh, okay, we're going out to this... Where are we? Awfully quiet out here. But we're going to the lamp, uh, the, 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 whatever the fuck it's called, the lamp, which is the safe zone for Bloodborne, which I said already. Uh. Okay, there wasn't a phone booth before. Is this where I changed to Superman? Oh, okay, maybe not. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me! I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Oh, jeez. You're me? So, you were trapped in this prison, too. Yep, I was in the furniture maze. Yep, I was in the escape tutorial. Yep, I was in the reverse prison. ...is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice... That's where I'm at right now. I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? Actually, I'm already forgetting what it's like. You know, it's strange, but... Yeah, definitely that last option. <laughs> Different... Mm, 
sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and th things will be exactly the same as before. It actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Oh, good. That's so nice to hear. That makes me feel really happy. Age just kind of does that to you, you know? It's still me, but I'm not somehow... I'm not... Somehow? It's hard to describe. Remember the, to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. Uh, kind of X there. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Uh, probably. Since this is kind of playing against that idea. What did they tell you? What did you have to go... To all they all they told me was to be sincere. They asked me to uh, how I felt about being imprisoned. They just talked to me for a while. <laughs> um talked to me for a while. <laughs> what? That freed you? How does that work? I don't know. You <laughs> this it will make sense. Just talk to me. Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. <laughs> Okay, I can talk. Just let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I will. I will be here for as long as you need. Nothing. All right. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of hmm. the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, yeah, in a lot of ways. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Whoa. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty interesting area, but I think I'm going to stop here. It's chapter 10 called House. Um... But um, it's a very interesting game so far. I kind of like this idea um, that's going for and experiencing this developer's ideas and uh, as we go along. But I think that's going to be it for this game in particular for tonight. Hopefully it saves. Hopefully that's a thing in this game. But I'll get to it at a later time. But I hope you guys have been enjoying and I'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye-bye.